Welcome back to Ballhead of Metal, guys. My name is Joseph. Today, we're doing another Unleash the Archers reaction, and this time it's to a very demanded song from them, Tonight We Ride. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. I quite enjoyed the first song, so I imagine it's going to be the same with this guy. Let's get right into it and see what we got. I really like their kind of a power thrash sound that they had in the first song. Okay, I'm right away digging the whole Mad Max vibe to the music video. Uh, actually, I did an interview with this band called Alan Key, and that was one of the things I've actually commented on them. I'm saying most music videos nice for heavy metal are kind of basic, and it's really nice when the band puts in the time to create a really nice music video or has the budget to create a nice music video. And this is a lot more power metal-ish sounding, meaning like the neoclassical solo that kind of the whole song started with, which is really badass. And now they're going to get like a nice kind of chunky riff. I'm just going to rewind it just a little bit so I can be on, on board what's going on here. I really like what she's able to do with her voice where she's able to hit very high notes but at the same time she has this kind of a, a thicker tone to her voice she's able to kind of do a little bit of both because a, a lot of power metal bands what i don't like about them personally is that they tend to stand these really high notes the whole time and it becomes they all blend everything all the sounds tend to blend and you don't really notice any difference where she was very playful with her voice of going up and down and compliments i think the song very well and i like that with the music video and even with the song they kind of embrace the cheesiness of power metal bands they embrace it with open arms almost like uh either satirical or comedic where they understand where they stand with this music, but they're still able to write really interesting songs, at least what I'm hearing from this song so far.
gotta say, I like this song. I think I think it's a uh a, a, a interesting power metal song, but I do like the first one I heard a little bit more. Remember the name. Um and what I liked about this other song that they had was also a music video. Uh, well, it was like a playthrough at a studio, is the really thrash metal power kind of power metal, very rough sound to the song with her vocals i thought it matched really really well and i would say this is more traditional to like something like blind guardian right uh traditional power metal sound and we'll still hear how the rest of the song progresses i would like to hear more variation in, in this particular song and other like places that it goes to and changes up its kind of rhythm but overall i think it's a good song Despite also their being a young new band, you know, I think they have a couple albums under their belt. I do appreciate them hearkening back, even in their clothes, uh, despite that, you know, it's, it's going along with the image of the music video, but this kind of 80s vibe, 80s feel of uh, traditional or like traditional metal or even like old school power metal bands from back in the day. I, I love them hearkening back to it in the way they write their music. And I think that's the most attractive quality of this particular song. It's, it's self-aware of what it is. have some to say about it though is this idea that if i started with this song to react to this band i probably wouldn't have been as open to them um because like i hear this song and i would say by the end i thought it was a cool song interesting but um like this didn't really capture me as much as the first song did which is i'm gonna look it up really quick which the song was yeah, the song was Awakening, the one I reacted to first. And despite that, both, like in general, I would say this band is not particularly breaking new ground in the power thrash metal, power metal uh, genres. They're not like innovators of some, some kind of a sound, but they just had a solid foundation for songwriting, for uh, energy they brought to the band. Uh, I really like her singing and her energy that she brings, even through a music video. And just having kind of fun. I think there's inherently something 
interesting about seeing a band who's just absolutely having fun on stage and enjoying themselves and you can't help but enjoy it with them and from that perspective they were like an example to me of a band that doesn't have to innovate to be interesting to be fun to be addictive to listen to with nice addictive riffs and that's what i felt about awakening whereas tonight we ride kind of left me wanting more and almost it's slightly uninterested despite the fact that i think logically speaking it's a good song it's not a bad song she obviously has a very powerful voice uh she holds, holds those high notes really well i think she's a nice front woman for the band they all bring a nice energy and there's a lot of positives to be said but this this song didn't i'm very i'm also very picky when it comes to power metal i, I tend to skip a lot of bands because if the song doesn't, I don't know, I always look for some kind of catchy riff in a power metal band. Nice catchy riff, get your attention going, get your head, head moving. And it didn't, just, it didn't do it with me in this particular one as much as I'd hope it would. Although judging based on the awakening, how much I like that, I feel like if I listen to their album from beginning to the end, I might not like every song, but I have a feeling I would generally like the album. Uh, I would like to react to more songs from them. If you guys can recommend to me that's something that's more like The Awakening, I would really, really enjoy that. And we'll we'll stop it there. We'll end it there. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction, even if it's not 100% what you wanted to hear. Uh, like I said, like I always say on this channel, I'm just going to be 100% honest. Uh, just be respectful of what I'm doing. Because I was like, these guys go through so much to release music and they get to do something that they love. I would never want to shit on anybody it's already hard enough to make it out there they don't, they don't need people coming out of nowhere shitting on them just to get three more clicks on their video i'm not that desperate i might try to be genuine anywho guys enjoy the rest of your day and keep it metal